also we do get some a rank engines we do get some free agents as far as i know we get seven free agents we get like Alright guys, so I just want to talk about the Zenless Zone Zero livestream. There's been a lot of people talking about it, saying how it was uh, underwhelming, uh, it was bad, they should have done better, and whatnot, and whatnot, and whatnot. And I kind of want to go over it again uh, very quickly. Uh, the game is coming out soon, I want to give my opinion on it. Um, let's see if we can find a live stream somewhere. Is it possible to watch it again? Yeah, pre-release special program. I'm not gonna go through it all, I'm not gonna show absolutely everything. I just, uh, this is just a refresher for me, right? So we saw some of the, the combat, some cinematic, some monsters. They talk about the game, blah, blah, blah. They talk about some of the squad. They did show some new characters. Lately, we learned of two new characters, Lucy and something Piper, I believe. Uh, I think... I think that we know that Lucy is actually going to be a 4 star, she's the girl with the bats, right? I don't think we know yet for Piper, but I, I think she's probably going to be a 4 star as well. Uh, it is what it is, yeah, this girl. Um, Julian and Ellen Jo. So I do believe that Ellen Jo is actually going to be the first 5 star. She's going to be the first girl on the Rater banner. She's a cryo DPS essentially, right? Um... Yeah, I'm just a bit worried that she's gonna be like silly, like she's gonna be like super strong. Uh, but she's gonna get like, I mean, let's. I'm probably gonna pull for her because she looks so cool. Um, <laughs> she's so cool, she's so badass. I love her art, but like she's painting your nails. Anyway, she's absolutely beautiful. I'm probably gonna pull for her because she, she looks so great. But uh, yeah, I I feel like she's probably gonna get power cards in the future. It is what it is. And then we have Zhu Yan, who apparently is gonna be the second rate up character. She's an S rank character, obviously. Um, so she's probably gonna be give B E T, right? Um, I think she. I don't remember what she does. I think she's an S Ether character. Ether character. Um, she's pretty cool. A lot of people have been saying how like her. Her design is boring and she looks like an NPC. I kind of disagree with it, but I mean, I, I, I guess that not every single character looks absolutely flamboyant, uh, I suppose. But I don't think she looks that bad, in my opinion. Um, uh, I don't know, she's kind of cute. Anyway, we'll see later. Uh, obviously, when it comes to like big news, we now know that the Boo Ponds, so the Bang Boo banner, that was one of the things that was a bit uh, scary, I guess, because we have the permanent banner, then we have the Raider banner, then we have the weapon banner, and we're like, oh, so we got the Bang Boo banner on top of things, right? It's like, oh, so there's one more banner that we have to go through. You know what I mean? And um, I think people were a little bit worried about that, right? But thankfully, we now know that the Bang Boo banner only needs only uses in-game currency, free currency. It uses boo pawns, so you cannot put money for the bang boos. Hopefully, there is no way to buy those boo pawns. I don't think there is, not the way they talked about it. But you know, it is a gacha game, maybe gonna, they're gonna do a, a bait and switch. But the way they talked about it, it seems it's only obtainable through in-game resources, right? That's cool, they showed a, a cool animation of the, the coffee shop, which is kind of nice. Uh, they were kind of talking about how it wasn't very important, but essentially they were saying how to them, they really wanted to go all out on even the smallest detail to add to the immersion, and they kind of want to do something cool, you know? Uh, this kind of, to me, this game kind of feels like an experiment about just trying like a, a new world and going all out on the expression, the animation, and trying to push they're to me this is kind of a flex game as in they're trying to flex their muscle and their brain uh try to get like to push everything they can to the limit you know what i mean um to me like honkai impact third is kind of like the baby project it's it's like the, the little love thingy you know then genshin is the super big uh, massive appeal to a large community even a non-endemic community it's their money maker 
ZZ, um, sorry, Star Rail is a bit closer to Honkai Pack 3rd. There's way more like correlation between that and Honkai Pack 3. Um, third, sorry. Uh, and it's kind of in the middle. It's a bit more niche. It's turn based. It's not for everyone. Uh, and this one is a bit like. Like, it's just a, a massive, like, flashy things, and I kind of like that, honestly. Uh, it has good vibes. So anyway, uh, one of the things I did mention was, uh, here this is literally a guy you can talk to for achievement, that they talked about the the game mode, which is like a roguelite, that kind of functions like the Divergent Universe, essentially, or, you know, like, Elusive Ram and Watering Waves. I'm gonna do a lot of comparison with Watering Waves, because at the end of the day, uh, those two games are kind of coming out at the same time, and I think it's fairer to compare those two rather than compare with Gigenshin and Star Rail that came like a while ago. Uh, so yeah, and then they talked about how many rewards it would be giving. So, uh, why did I want to talk about this? I kind of want to talk about this because a lot of people have been saying that the live stream was bad and boring and there was nothing interesting and blah 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 and blah blah blah. Uh, honestly, I don't know why people are saying that. I literally do not know. Uh, I don't know why people are kind of disappointed. Oh, is that Rina in the back? Cute. Um, I don't know why people are disappointed. I, I think... Um, I think that's kind of the point of a live stream, uh, a pre-release live stream. They're like just talking about a game, just just having a little chat. There's no mini game. Oh, uh, who's gonna get the bun with wasabi inside? At least like it was not that bad. And yeah, I'm gonna talk about Wooden Wave once again because it's com easily comparable. 1.1 Watering Waves live stream was absolutely terrible. At least here it was concise, straight to the point. Here's the game. Here's some news about the game. It's gonna be this way. Here are some of the. The map is gonna be three times as big as what it was during the CBT. This is the game mode. This is the the features. You can choose achievements. You can invite your friends to have a chat with them. Uh, the blue pond is gonna work this way. I think this is what we want for a 1.0 livestream. Yeah, maybe it's not as hype as people wanted it to be, uh, but I think it's not that big of an issue. I think this is this is what a livestream should be. It's just like telling you what's gonna be coming up. And I think because this is the first one, maybe people expect it to be blown away, but honestly to me, like a 1.0 livestream is probably not going to be that amazing when we already have so much information because there were so many CBTs, right? And I guess people, because the CBTs have been a bit like luster, some of them, I think people really wanted something to blow their mind so they were like, oh my god, I'm locked in. But I think this is really good enough. I really think so. Maybe I'm wilding, maybe I'm the Lulu. Um, I don't know, but I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Um... And I think the really hype live stream is probably going to happen in the future for 1.1, 1.2, when we already invested in the game, when we already invested in the story, and then we're going to have all that anticipation for what's coming up next. I think that's what's going to matter more. Uh, so to me, this was exactly what we needed, and I think that's perfectly fine. Um, and um, so then, obviously, there's the talk about the rewards, uh, let me pull up the screens here, and there it is. It's like they were saying you're gonna get 80 free pools and 80 boo pawns, and that they were like, you know what, that's not good enough. Let's give you a hundred free pools and 80 boo pawns. Um, so here it says all official release reward can be obtained in game through events and mail. So this is not rewards that you can get that you get on top. Uh, it's, it's not like exploration, so it's not like, oh, you get 10 via mail, 60 via thing, and then you get 30 via exploration. No, this is 100 free pools, and on top of it, you can get more pools through exploration, through playing the game. So this is only mail and events, okay? So that means we are going to get more than this, right? And this is equivalent watering wave. Like, people were saying like, oh, this is not enough. This is not enough. And I'm just like, really? The, 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 yeah, what are you talking about? This is a lot. This is actually a lot. Watering Wave, it had 108 free pools. So you can say, oh, eight, that's way better. I mean, yeah, okay, I guess they had eight more. I don't think it's that big of a deal, okay? I think it's comparable. I think it's fine. 
And I also gotta compare that the, yeah, in Water and Wave there is not a third equipable slot for like the bang boos. So here we got 100 free pulls for either like weapon or character banner. And 80 boo pawn tickets, which is basically a guaranteed boo pawn, uh, bang boo of your choice, by the way, because you can select which ones, kind of like for the weapon banner in Water and Waves, right? So I think this is a lot. Yes, it's eight more. Some people will say, hey, it's basically the same. Um, it's eight more, it's eight more. Obviously, if it was eight more, we'd take that, we'd like that, yeah. And then we can say, yeah, but Wooden Wave, we got a lot of free pools, we got some free five stars, and yes, I completely understand. Obviously, it would have been fantastic if we got a free five star. Uh, it's obviously better, right? I'm not gonna deny that. But when it comes to the free pool itself, I think this is very good in my opinion. This guarantees you a five star character, this guarantees you a, a bang boo, that's pretty awesome in my opinion. Um, also, we do get some A rank engines, we do get some free agents. As far as I know, we get seven free agents. We get like, um, we get Billy, we get Corinne, uh, I believe we, oh Corina, I don't remember her name. I think we get uh, Nicole as a free agent. We get that girl with the katana and the, the green outfit and three more characters. There's a bunch of free characters that we're getting, which is pretty awesome, obviously. Um, the awful stars, it is what it is. But yeah, we do get a lot of characters, uh, which is pretty good. And um, I, I think overall, it's pretty good. I don't know why people are kind of upset about this. Uh, yeah, there's the web event, of course, to get some, some free stuff. I don't think it's like that uh, mind blowing, but it is there, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I think people are clowning a little bit too hard on the game. Uh, and I think it's always how it is. Uh, people like to clown on every new release. People were clowning when Genshin came out because... When Genshin was about to release because people were calling it a Breath of the Wild clone. And people were clowning on uh, Star Rail because they were saying like, Oh, turn-based RPG is never gonna work. And then it worked. Then people were clowning on Watering Waves and it turns out it's good. And now people are clowning on ZZZ. Uh, because of the TV mode and it's not as good and whatever. And uh, I think a lot of people are taking Water and Wave. Um, the idea that we got so many 5 star and there was like a lot of compensation and thank yous rewards. So at base, yeah, there was only 108 pool, which is very comparable to this. But obviously we got a shit ton of additional pools um, as the game went on because of a lot of bugs and stuff. And I think... Comparing compensation pools uh, and adding it to because it had a terrible launch and, and comparing like the, the compensation pools that we got to what we're getting here and being like, oh, this is shit. They're not giving us 200 pools or whatever. I think it's a bit disingenuous. I really don't think it's the end of the world. Um, and um, yeah, honestly, I think it's pretty good. I, I do think it's pretty good. If you compare to other games from the Hoyoverse, um, I kind of went back. It was hard information to get, honestly, but uh, apparently for Star Rail, we kind of got around 80 free pools. Uh, kind of similar for Genshin, I believe. So this is a pretty good amount by comparison. Uh, it's 20 more free pools plus the extra blue pawns, uh, obviously. So uh, overall, I think it's pretty satisfying. I think it's pretty good. I think people are just clowning on the game. Um, Doom posting or just trying to cheat on the newcomer because people, I don't know, I, I guess some very loud minority, I know it's not everybody, but it is what we tend to see. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's really not that bad. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty hype. I know the game is going to do well because it's Hoyoverse. Let's be real. Some people are going to play the game just because it is Hoyoverse. It seems to way, it seems to be way more plug and play arcade go in go out very fast dailies to do um so I, I i think it's gonna be a nice supplementary gacha game for some people uh they're probably gonna play like genshin or wooden wave as their main game and they can have zzz as an additional game on the side to just be like all right well i, I i'm maining genshin i'm gonna play this game on the side because it's a 
it's fast and easy, it's kind of fun, and I can get out very fast, so there it is. Uh, that's my opinion. I think the game is going to be successful. I'm going to play it. I'm excited for it. I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out. I think the lore is very interesting. If you want a, a little primer on the lore, uh, there's a beautiful, beautiful, fantastic video from the amazing Hashikai that talks about the lore of this game and some speculation. It's really, really cool. Uh, do give her a Luxis because she's an amazing uh, content creator. And uh, there it is. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, all the good good. Uh, really appreciate you. We actually reached 666 subscribers today, uh, which is a, it's a funny number. So there it is. Hopefully we can reach a um, 1,000 subscriber uh, before my birthday. My birthday is going to be on the 23rd of July. Uh, <laughs> If you want to be super base, if you want your PP to be super big or your booba to grow bigger, uh, do subscribe. I appreciate it. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one.